Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to reveal and talk about the Dress Up Your Purse Le Petite Paris 15. Now, this is very similar to the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse East West and it is a design we have been waiting for for quite some time. But per usual, I'm sure Melody tweaked the design just a little bit to improve upon it, and I cannot wait to show you. First, I wanted to show you the other piece I got from Idyll after I collaborated with them. I ended up buying two pieces with my own money. I showed you one of them in yesterday's video, and then the other piece is this Le Eternity. This is one of their high jewelry pieces, and I think it's 1.5 carats set in 14 carat white gold, and I just love it. The reason I wanted to pick it up was because I have this bezel set diamond tennis bracelet, and I just love the look of this along with my tennis bracelet. And then I have it also paired with some hoop diamond earrings that I have, as well as this particular piece. This ring is Rego Designs. It's all set in white gold with diamond, except for the center stone is Moissanite. And Moissanite tends to reflect a little bit more of a rainbow. It's actually more sparkly than a diamond. And the way you can tell it's Moissanite a lot of times is that you get more of a rainbow on the wall if you have the light hitting it or if you just move it around you can see more of a rainbow but i wanted to show you them next to each other so you could see the difference in the sparkle if there was any the piece by ideal is absolutely fabulous and i don't think the sparkle really on either one of these can be beat my moissanite is by charles and Colbert. And that is one of the top producers of Moissanite today. I will link my ideal code down below to save you 10%. If you're interested, it's not an affiliate link or anything. I just apparently really like their stuff because I bought two higher ticket items after I worked with them. And so I want to make sure that you can get the best deal you can with that discount code. And also you may want to sign up for their club if you buy something, because if you do, you earn dollars that will get you up to 20% off a future purchase, depending on how much you spend and what the amount of that future purchase is. Now, some of you talked about how to style this pink Paris 15 that I unboxed yesterday. I did end up deciding to wear the next fashion chain with the gold and the silver because I am wearing white gold jewelry. So I love that, that I can pair it together. And I'm wearing a pink top that is not the exact same shade of pink, but close. And if I'm a little chilly, I'll pull a lightweight long sleeve denim top over this pink top. And I really like it with this. I'm wearing black pants and those are gonna come in handy when I unbox the Paris 15 here in just a second. But I did wanna show you how I styled this particular bag today since a few of you asked questions about that. Oh my goodness, I keep forgetting things that I wanna tell you. The other thing is I picked up these Sam Edelman sandals. I saw them when I went shopping with my friend on Saturday and I still have to release that shopping video. I have so many videos to release I just can't hardly keep up but these are freaking adorable and they are $70. I will link them down below. They're really cushiony on the inside of the band here and I love the beadwork on them and this part here is really cushiony as well. Don't size down if you're in between sizes would be my advice. I usually wear an eight and a half or nine in sandals and I wear nine in these and they fit perfect and they are on the narrower side. So if you have a wider fit, I believe they have wide or medium. And so you might want to choose the wide. So anyhow, these are awesome. And I have some more Sam Edelman sandals coming. It's one of my friends fault because she took me over to that section and I just love their designs. So I've had all sorts of ado. Let's get to the unboxing. I could not be more excited about this. This may just be the bag I bring with me on my next vacation. It is very compact and I have the pink Paris 15 sitting next to me so I can show you in relation to that one how big this is. I can also steal the chain off of it so that we can play dress up a little bit. The Louis Vuitton version of the Le Petite Paris 15 
is the Pochette Matisse East West, like I mentioned earlier, and it does come with a chain, and the chain that it comes with is way too long and not practical at all. So thanks Louis Vuitton for that, but it doesn't really help us out too much. But I think this chain may be quite nice on this little bag. Let's switch it over. So yes, it is quite pretty, and as you can tell, the width of the bag is less than the Paris 15. I'm going to put them side by side to show you. There is the difference. I was under the impression that it was just the height that was different, but it's also the width. But I do love how this chain looks when it's dangling, and I don't think it dangles as far as the Pochette Matisse East West chain dangles. So let's do a quick tour of the bag. We've got the front the sides. We have a nice pocket on the back and the other side and the bottom. And you can see, as usual, the stitching and the hardware on this bag is impeccable. I want to first check and see if a phone will fit in the back pocket. This is from an iPhone 14 Pro. I think it's going to be a tight fit, but let's see. So I don't think that your standard phone is going to fit comfortably in this pocket with a case on anyway. You might be able to just stick it like this in a pinch, which is still nice to have. Let's get into the middle. Now, just like the pink, this particular strap has the Togo leather trim with the cotton webbing, and I'm not going to model that today. I've modeled it before I modeled it yesterday. I'll link that video down below. But this bag also comes with this strap, which is one of the snappy straps. You can fully extend it by not snapping it. You have a length that you can extend it to by snapping it. And then you can also shorten it all the way to a shoulder length, which is pretty cool. The lining is a luxurious microfiber. Let's go ahead and take all the stuffing out. And I'm going to take the chain off and weigh this without the straps. So I've got this as one pound, three ounces. And I think the one I weighed yesterday, the pink one was one pound, nine and a half ounces. So it does weigh less, which you would expect because it's a fair amount smaller. So here it is on me fully extended. It's pretty comfortable. I'm not immediately noticing this bit being uncomfortable. I think it's positioned a little further back than they usually are on me. Let me do the other middle length. I think this is a really nice length to wear a bag like this. It's very comfortable. If I was traveling and carrying this bag, I would like it in this place because I feel like I can protect it more. By the way, if you want one of these next fashion chains, I will link it with my discount code down below. My discount code is HBHW20. And then if you want to pick up one of these Paris 15 bags, you have to pre-order them and the Dress Up Your Purse website has changed slightly. And so now if you want to get one of these and it's not in stock, you have to go to the pre-order page and I will link that down below. Here is the shoulder length. I also really like it at that length. Very comfy and I did mention just now the pre-order page. If you pre-order one of these beauties, it takes usually two or three months to get it. But let me tell you, I believe that they are worth the wait. And I like the Paris 15 styles so much that I sold my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse because the quality of these is amazing. And I have yet to get one that has anything wrong with it. I need to knock on fake wood or something because I don't want to jinx myself. But they are absolutely beautiful and very well made. Now, I have another strap to show you here. This came from my Speedy B25, and it is a very nice strap. If you're new to my channel, I love switching straps up. And when I buy a new bag, I often look at the strap to see if I could play with it with other items in my closet. And this one having the tile design with the black pairs nicely with the black Le Petite Paris 15 and gives it a different look. I also have this monogram and black bandolier strap, which I can wear either as a short crossbody or I can lengthen it. And I think that looks super cute as well. I like this one better, I think, than the one I just showed you from my new Speedy 25. It has black accents near the D-ring as well as in the center of the strap that just really ties in with the bag. I also have this black woven strap, which I have upside down, that says Louis Vuitton on it. And this may be my favorite one of the bunch that I show you today. 
It is the most comfortable and I really like the streamlined look that I have going on here. I just did a quick strap wardrobe change and I think I like the one with the dark and the gold the best on this little bag. I actually am loving the one with the silver on the pink bag that I just showed you. Now, a lot of you out there may have straps from contemporary brands like Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs oftentimes has straps on their bags. They sell them with their bags at the outlet. So if you have some of these at home, don't sleep on them either. And you can also pick them up directly from Marc Jacobs for around $100. And with the upgraded hardware, they're just a little bit fancier than some of those guitar straps you can get on Amazon and other places. So that is definitely a fun look as well. The Marc Jacobs Gold also matches the Dress Up Your Purse and the Louis Vuitton hardware really well. And I just love switching because I think it's fun to coordinate with your outfits. And so I tend to find a color in the strap and make that the color of my top or my pants to just pull things all together. I love, love, love this combo with the darker hardware and that camouflage. Last but certainly not least is the coach strap with chain. I think you can just pick these up pre-love now. I have seen them on the coach website in the last few years with the gunmetal type hardware, but not with the gold. And I actually have antique hardware on mine, but they come with the shiny gold and I still have that. You can just undo these and swap them. And I happen to have an extra set of the clips and I use this one with my coach camera bag. But if I were to use it with this bag, I would put those shinier clips back on to make it coordinate better. But is that not stunning? And the pebbled leather on the strap looks really good with the Togo leather on this bag. Okay, now that my strap happy soul has had all the strap action that it can take, I'm going to show you what fits in this and transfer it over from this bag. And I'm going to have to downsize. I almost guarantee it. But when I was in Louis Vuitton in New Orleans, I did put my stuff inside and it fit pretty darn well. Now I was reduced in terms of what I carry because I was on vacation. So let's just see what we can do from like a normal daily carry standpoint. And then I will take these two items out, which is a tied to go stick and a tampon. And I'm gonna put those things on the bottom with the pouch on top and we'll see if I have room for this. I have some cash and change in here and I don't think I'm gonna be able to have the Felici insert, but there is this back pocket here for that. So you have to use the organization and not use your pouches. Got some Band-Aids and a nosebleed pack and a card and my comb. And those are all gonna go in that back pocket. I need to switch into my Prada card case, my new one for my trip, but I haven't done it yet. So I'm gonna put the Fendi Diamonds card holder in the front pocket, as well as my pouch with medicine. And then I have two clays. Really don't think I'll be able to have both of these in here. One thing I definitely need is my car key and an AirPods case. So I'm gonna put those things in there like so. I usually carry two AirPods cases. I'm just gonna carry one. I'm gonna put my glasses cleaning cloth in that front pocket right there. So you can see I've got that. Now the only things I don't have in there from my daily carry are these two card cases and this compact. But since I do have one card case in there, I just wanted to show you how that all looked closed up. This card case is full of gift cards and I don't need to carry it every day. And if I am gonna go somewhere, I can just grab one out before I leave home. So I'm going to set this aside and just bring this one. This one has some other more important things like insurance and medical cards. So I'm gonna stick that in the middle compartment. And you can tell I really have it spread, but that does fit. I don't know that I would always carry that because that really does spread it out. But one thing I do is I will take the cards out of the card holder and I'll just stick them back with my cash, divide them up into two sections and then have them like that. And so that looks much better. I'm a lot more comfortable with that. I'll oftentimes use the little Zumani pouches. These come with your Zumani bag organizers when you order from them. And when I don't have room for a second card holder, I'll often do that, but that may spread it out just a little too much as well. Let's see. Yes, I do not like the look of that. So even those are a little bit too much. So in terms of what I would really like to carry, I'm still missing my phone and my compact. This is what it's looking like without them inside. Let's give it a shot. 
so you can fit them, but it spreads it out. And that is nice to know because it does close with those inside. And I don't know that I would want it like that all the time, but in the case of your phone, I'm gonna take the compact out. Let's just say that doesn't work. I don't put powder on very often anyway, but if you just have your phone in there, I really do not think that that looks bad. And I have it in the front pocket. So you can see it's right there. And I have space back here, so maybe I need to move a few things back. I think that that's even better. If you're gonna carry your phone, I would leave the front pocket totally empty and have that be the spot for your phone. For me, I don't usually put my phone inside my bag. And so I think I would move the Defendi card holder and the medicine pouch and this eyeglass cloth there. And I would put those cards back in the Zumani slip pockets. And then let's try closing it again. I think that's it. I think that is the perfect combo right there. So I put loading the bag at the end in case you didn't want to see that, but I did want to include it just in case you wondered how much you could fit into this little beauty. I do feel like you can fit a lot more than you would think inside. And I do have my hair tie inside of there, just in case you were wondering. So it is inside as well. I have a lot of things in this little bag. If you'd like to order one of these Paris 15s, you'll have to pre-order it. You can use my code HBHW15, and that brings the price down to around $220. And I think they are well worth it. I am super excited to use this on an upcoming vacation and really test it out and put it through the ringer. And I think I'm gonna probably bring one of my Louis Vuitton straps on that trip because I really liked the look, especially of the one that was the fabric Louis Vuitton one. You'll have to let me know which strap combo was your favorite. Of course, the ones it comes with are super nice. Don't get me wrong. I just like to play in my closet with straps. So. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.